Dr. Joyce Yearwood is the first female African-American physician in Fairfield County, Connecticut. Yearwood devoted her 50-year career to providing quality medical care for low-income women, children, and families. A tireless advocate for social justice and equality, Dr. Yearwood impacted thousands of lives through her lifetime of civic engagement, including founding the Yearwood Center, the first community center for African-Americans in Stamford. Dr. Yearwood was absolutely a pioneer. At the same time, she's part of this uh, longer tradition of African-American women professionals who unite family, work, and community uh, in a triad that simply can't be uh, disassembled. She just really wanted to help everyone, and it wasn't just African-American people. She wanted to help everyone as a whole, and she wanted people to realize that there was hope and there was possibility for us to go to college and to be successful people in life. Joy Shearwood was born in 1909 in Victoria, Texas, the younger of two daughters. Her mother, Melissa Yearwood, was a school teacher, while her father, Dr. Charles Yearwood, was one of the first black medical doctors to practice in Texas. Dr. Charles Yearwood faced the prospect of raising both of his daughters without their mother. She passed away. And so it became essential for him to simply take his daughters with him on his rural rounds. And they loved it. They were incredibly proud of their dad. They saw the kind of care and attention he gave to the patients, and it inspired them in many ways. The family moved to Austin, Texas when Joyce was 16. She then earned her bachelor's degree in 1928 from Samuel Houston College. Joyce went on to Meharry Medical College in Nashville, Tennessee with her sister Connie. They're the only two African-American women in their class and there's only one other African-American women student in the entire program. When it came time for uh, internships, they applied to Meharry uh, and despite the fact that they graduated with honors, they were turned down. So they actually continued the process of gaining additional training and went to Kansas City for their internships. And Joyce went on to complete her residency in Philadelphia. Her accomplishments are extraordinary. In the first place, she earned a medical degree when less than 5% of all women were earning them and a much smaller proportion of African-American women. In 1936, Dr. Joyce Yearwood married Dr. Joseph Carwin and moved to Stamford, Connecticut. Their son, Joseph, was born in 1942. After a year, as Joyce put it, of being a housewife in Stamford, she was absolutely clear that it was time for her to set up her own practice. She chose Porchester for the first 18 years of her practice because she was determined to minister to an underserved population of African Americans and immigrant patients. When Joyce moved her medical practice to Stamford in 1955, she became Fairfield County's first female African-American physician, but her influence on the Stamford community extended well beyond her practice. My grandmother delivered over 2,000 babies. It's amazing people come up to me all the time and say, your grandmother delivered me. This is someone who wasn't just a mother, a physician, she's a community builder. From her earliest days in Stamford, Dr. Yearwood saw the need for providing after-school enrichment programs for children, starting in her own backyard and eventually expanding throughout the community. She organized 40 young people into a chorus known as the Little Negro Theater. That in turn shifts to actually purchasing a storefront on West Main Street. And then she decided that they needed a bigger space. She wanted a place for children to come, for adults to come. She wanted it more of a community environment. So they decided to do a campaign fund to raise money to be able to have the current location where the center is located. We raised enough money to build this center. She was the driving force. And so the obvious name for this place was the Yearwood Community Center. She was respected, not just the black community, but the entire community. Everybody respected Joyce Sherwood. She saw the need uh, for young people to hear the strong message, uh, stay in school, fulfill your potential, know your history, know your culture. That was really essential to her. I'm really thankful for my great-grandmother for this place because I was there every day. Me growing up, I grew up, I gained a lot of friends um, and like the summer camps and after school programs and all that. 
With her tremendous passion for the people in her community, Dr. Yearwood was a much sought after board member for organizations throughout the greater Stamford area. She was a tenacious advocate for the healthy development of all people, especially the children. Just being a woman black physician was quite something, and then to have the time with a very flourishing practice to be able to spend so much time on community activities, she had the respect of the whole community. After my grandmother retired from practicing medicine, she actually was not one that was going to sit home and do nothing. She continued to be um, active in the center, but she also became the medical director of the liberation programs, where she helped treat people who had drug problems. And she did that until she became ill. During her lifetime, Joyce received many community service awards, including the Stanford's Mayor Award, the Alpha Kappa Alpha Heritage Award, and the Hannah G. Solomon Award. Dr. Yearwood's legacy is, uh, is as a role model, is as a mentor, is as a scientist, a, a doctor, a community builder. In 1987, Dr. Joyce Yearwood died in her old Greenwich home at the age of 78. A true pioneer in medicine, she nurtured the sick for more than five decades and was a vocal advocate for the health and dignity of every individual. While the community center that bears her name is a physical reminder of her exceptional contributions, her most important legacy is evident in the lives of the thousands of women, children, and families that she kept healthy in mind, body, and spirit. She's a force of nature and a brilliant a professional, a community builder, a reformer. She has a feminist, anti-racist agenda that you have to admire. You feel the steely resolve at the same time, the humanity, the compassion. She's totally admirable.